Hello and welcome back to the fourth part of my tutorial series. Uh, in this one, we're going to be covering some simple texture edits, check te te texture replacements, texture... I don't know what you want to call it. We're basically going to take something that already exists in the world and replace it with something else. Uh, we're still pretty much in the, in, in the very basic things. Uh, so... From here on out, it's going to kind of scale up a little bit in difficulty. So, and although a lot of people have been asking about more tutorials, so I'll see if I can crank out a few more uh, in the next few days. So, for this one, we're going to need Photoshop. And for Photoshop, we're going to need a uh, DDS plugin. NVIDIA has a DDS plugin for textures. So, if you don't have that, I'm going to leave the, uh, the download link in the description. It's a free download. It's pretty much just click install and it's, it's good to go works with pretty much every version of photoshop uh so and we're going to be using code walker as well open iv as per usual so if you don't have those installed check my previous videos get everything sorted set up and let's start so we're going to start with code walker might as well just open uh, open open iv just so we have it running already and usual Get everything out. We don't actually need too many things in, in this one. So, just for the sake of making it simple, quick and easy. Uh, what we're going to do in this one, we're going to change a bit on this uh, billboard here. Just add something to it. And we're going to change this logo here. So, the reason I'm doing these two is because one of them are basically embedded textures for the model. And the other one is using a texture library. So for the first one, let's just select this and move it out of the way. So it's gone. We don't need that one. So we want to see if we can get our hands on this entire building here. And I believe this is the one. Yep. So as per usual, uh, click around until you get the right one. You can always just move them up, up and down. See if you have the actual correct one selected. So we're going to go to selection. As you can see, we have the name of the building we have selected. SS1-05-Bill-3-B. So we're going to go into OpenIV. We're going to filter. Click on search. And see, we have these two here. So what we're looking for is this one, the I YDR file. So we're going to open this one up real quick. So you can see, when we look at it, these textures are already loaded. That That's because these are embedded textures into the model. Uh, another way you can see this is by clicking view embedded textures. You can see all the textures that are part of this model. Uh, and the reason you have these colors is because these are from a texture library. So in this case, um, it's trying to use this, this uh, texture library, which is not the correct one. The correct one is we go back into code walker and we go to archetype you can see under the texture dictionary we have the ss1 underscore 05 built so if we want to check the correct look we're just going to find it here and enable that you can see everything pretty much looks like it should there's a bit with the roof but because it's missing some other textures that we're not going to try to find in this case. All right, so let's just close this one down. So for the uh, the model with the embedded textures, which is the YDR file, we're going to take take this one, right click, export to open format. And I am just going to clean up my folder real quick. So under tutorial. So, as per usual, I'm going to put this in the uh, tutorial folder I created in one of the other ones. All right. So, that's pretty easy. And we're going to go back, take a look. So we're going to find a texture dictionary. So, SS105 built, which is all the way at the bottom. It's the YTD file. So in this case, you can see the texture is here. So, do the same. Right click, export. And we just select the tutorial folder. There we go. All right, that's pretty straightforward. So 
you are going to find that folder. So desktop GTA custom models tutorials in my, in my case, you can see we have the OTD and we have the ODR file. One is the model file and one is the uh, texture library or texture dictionary. So we are going to just start with one of them. So we're going to take the, uh, the, the one that's the building model with the embedded gonna double click and we're going to view large icons. Might as well just make it extra large. Uh, that's a bit too big, large icons. All right. So we are going to find the one that has the uh, hemp logo because I want to change the hemp logo to something different. So we're going to start up Photoshop. All right. So I'm just going to drag and drop this one load using the full sizes. I'm assuming by now you already have everything installed. So let's go. So what I want to do, I just want to make a simple texture edit. So I'm going to replace this with something I already saved, which is going to be this cop killer records logo. So we are just going to align that with the lower left. And the top right. Obviously, this is just quick and dirty. If you want to put more time into it, you can do that. Uh, you can see something like this and this and this already. Like when you look at them in game, they have cutouts. And this is done with an elf map. You can see if we change to channel. Uh, actually, it might not be the case for this one. It might actually just be. Let's take a look might just be this one yep you need to cut out for it so if you want to change that to something else you would have to match the cutout on this file but we're not going to go into that for this this uh time we're just going to do a quick edit so just going to hit Control s we're going to select the ds and we're going to save it as the same file name of course and we hit yes all right, so first one is done. So I'm going to go back to tutorial. We're going to take the SS105 built, which is the uh, texture dictionary. I'm going to go do the same. And we're going to take the billboard. Load. And we are just going to do a quick. Like this. I'm going to fill it out. Do a gradient because we are lazy and we're going to take this other file in this case it's going to be my gnome png and we're just going to scale it down to match roughly there that's fine there we go that's pretty much it. So control S saving. I'm going to select DDS and we're just going to save it as the billboards. Hit yes, save. And we were pretty much done. We just created a new textures for the files. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these back into open IV. This is going to do everything for you. It's going to like create the model with the correct textures. It's going to create the, uh, uh, texture dictionary for you so from the very first tutorial where we set up our folders if you haven't done that you should go and do that now so for me i already have everything set up here so tutorial you'll see and we're just going to go all the way in here and we're going to take the two files we have the otd and the odr just drag and uh, enable edit drag and drop you can see we have the ydr ygd so if we take a look here so we have the gnome face. Take a look here. Ooh, 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 calm down. You can see we have the cop killer records. And as per usual, view embedded. You can see cop killer records. And if we click on add texture, we have the uh, 
gnome face. All right. So for this to show up in Code Walker, we just have to close it, open it back up. And they will be right there. So something you have to keep in mind is that we only took one specific model. As I've been mentioning before, there is LODs, which means that there is different models for different view distances. So if we look at it now, you can see how it's the old one. So we move a bit closer, it changes to the new one we made. So you basically want to do the exact same thing. You want to see if you can get your hands on that specific model. Uh... my case i don't seem to be able to but yeah you just want to do the same thing see if you can get your hands on the model pull it out and replace it so but in this case we have this and we have the cop killer records so we are just gonna take our two files We're gonna go into our server and like I've said multiple times, if you haven't done this already, I left the links in the previous video, so I might leave a link in this one as well with the tutorial on how to set up a server and everything. Now let's delete this as from previous. So we're just gonna take these two, drag and drop like into our tutorial stream with the resource Lua. So I'm just gonna close Code Walker so I can actually record. Might as well close this as well. And let's start up GG. So, it's gonna go into town. Oh. And we're gonna find a billboard which is basically located at 000, so it's over here. So you can see it's switching between the two the LODs. So that's gonna be fine uh, if you pull out the LOD and you replace the texture on that one. So you can see it switches there. As like a fade in so you can see we have the gnome face and we have the cop killer records logo so you can basically do whatever you want with this so if you just want to do a simple edit of an existing building and you just want to slap another name on it say uh, i know a lot of people just want to rename the banks to something that works uh on their server you know from uh on a Danish server, they want to use a Danish bank uh, name instead. That's basically the easiest way to do it. All right. Well, that was the pretty much it. So like I said, from now on, it's pretty, pretty much going to ramp up in difficulty. So we're going to go over to custom models and all of these things. Uh, so yeah, I'll be see you, seeing you in the next one.